bank's been robbed again, Mr. Longley. I keep telling them not to put money in there, but nobody ever listens to me. Where's the marshal? Um, most of them's over there. Mayor? Well, it could be worse. You mean he's still alive? No. But he set a new record. 21 bullet holes. Last marshal had 19. 21! What's the idea? I quit. Well, well, wait a minute. What for? When I hired on, you told me Abilene was a nice, peaceful town where all a deputy had to do was sit back and collect his $35 a month. Oh, I lied. Did you think we'd really pay someone just to sit around all day? You think we're stupid? Hey, well, uh, can't you stay on until we can appoint a new marshal? Who would take the job? There's only one man who can bring law and order to this town. I should have sent for him a long time ago. Pistol Pete at the OK Corral. Pistol Pete at Custer's Last Stand. Pistol Pete versus everybody. You're bringing in a dime novel gunfighter? Can you think of anyone better to keep peace in this town than the greatest lawman in the history of the West? You see what it says here? He's the rootinest, tootinest... Assuming there actually is such a person, what makes you think he'll come here? The people of Abilene need him. Once he knows that, if Pistol Pete's half the man I think he is, he'll come. Marksmanship never equaled or attempted on any stage. for Pistol Pete. Uh, Pistol Pete, everybody. What's the idea? I'm leaving the show, Bob. What? I've got to use my God-given gunfighting talents to save the people of Abilene from lawlessness. But you can do that here. We can have a scene where that happened. I can see it all now. The people of Abilene are being menaced by gunslingers and Indians riding grizzly bears. And you show up and save the day. It would be a wow. But would I really be saving the citizens of Abilene or just actors? Well, they'd be actors, but they'd be so convincing that nobody could tell the difference. I would be able to tell the difference. So long, Bob. I'll be back when I've cleaned up the West. Uh, Pete! Can you fire a gun? No, sir. Ride a horse? No. Wear a hat? If it's not a big hat. Then you're the new star of the show. What's your name? William Cody. Ever fight any Indians or kill any buffalo herds or anything Western sounding like that? Well, I went to school in Buffalo, New York. That'll do. And now, the new star of our show, Buffalo Bill Cody! Which way to Abilene? That way. Thanks. And when Pistol Pete gets here, all our crime problems will be over. And that means boom times for Abilene! Yeah. 
higher real estate values, more tourist money, and drovers won't be afraid to drive their cattle through here anymore. And this morning, I sent off a wire to the New York Giants, inviting them to move their baseball team here. And if I am elected to a third term, here it comes. As mayor of Abilene, I'd like to welcome you to our town and present you with this valuable gift as a token of our esteem. Thank you, frontier townspeople, for your warm welcome and for this wonderful white horse, which I will name Robert. I've got your marshal badge over at the office. Okay, folks, that's it. You've seen him. He's everything you'd hoped he'd be. Now go on home. We're ready for Crystal Pete. Do something, Pete. Do a trick. Leave the man alone. He just traveled a couple of thousand miles on a stagecoach. He's probably tired. How do we know he's really Pistol Pete? Crystal Pete versus the Transcendentalists. Did you really do all the things the books say you did? Well, I've done so many things. Uh, sometimes it's hard for me to remember them all. But one thing I do know, books don't lie. Always remember that, kids. We will, Pete! Congratulations, Marshal. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. You're still going to quit? You bet. Greatest lawman in the history of the West won't be needing my help. Good luck, Pete. Thank you. Funny, he doesn't look like a yellow belly. Well, better start earning my pay. McCandless! Yeah. He's here, all right. And he's the best shot I ever saw. Says here he can outdraw the vice president. Guy like that could make trouble for us. Better run him out of town now. Take him this message. According to this, Pistol Pete's on the side of the homesteaders. He's for closing off the range. So? So? I thought ranch hands were supposed to be so smart. We are, usually. Well, if this guy gets his way, we won't be able to graze our cattle just anywhere anymore. If you want to use a piece of land, we'll actually have to buy it first. Get the boys mattered up. We're going into town. Let's see. I'll catch Frank James on Wednesday, Black Bart on Thursday, and McCandless on Friday. Of town by two o'clock, you're dead, McCandless. A challenge to my authority. Looks like I'll have to catch McCandless today. Ma'am. Huh. Well, where I come from, we mostly use elevated trains. How are you supposed to steer those animals anyway? I'm wearing God's name of the brakes. Didn't you ride a horse in the Wild West show? Not a real one, no. 
I hope this leg's not broken. Seems to be torn. Last one of these they had at the Bloomingdale's. Marshal, there's some bad men on the way here to challenge you. McCandless and his gang, old man Thompson and some of his ranch hands. For the way they're riding, they should all be here about two o'clock. Good. This will give me a chance to clean up the whole western frontier on my first day. as dumb as he seems. Nobody's that stupid. Twenty dollars says he is. No bet. But he seems like the perfect lawman. Brave, fast on the draw, terrific posture. The only thing wrong with him is he's gonna be dead in 20 minutes. Yeah, darn it. 19 minutes now. I can tell time. Ah, uh, sit down, Pete. Listen, Pete, uh, you've been with us a while now, and... Uh, There's some bad men coming to... We already heard. Oh, okay. Listen, Pete, uh, we're mighty proud to have had you as marshal, and uh, you've done a bang-up job. But uh, maybe you should go back to New York now. You want me to leave? Well, it's not that. Sure it is. It's just that being fast on the draw isn't all there is to being a marshal. Things should get rough out here, and you're just a city feller. Heck, you can't even ride a horse. You're pretty dumb, too. If you get killed here, it'll make Abilene look bad. And me too, because I'm the one who brought you here. So, for your own good and ours, maybe you should go now. I appreciate what you're saying. You're both true friends. But don't worry, no one has ever defeated Pistol Pete Benteen. Remember how I stopped that civil war? You don't actually believe all the stuff that's been written about you, do you? Well, they couldn't print it if it wasn't true. I admit I don't remember doing all the things they've said I've done, but that's because I've never had a particularly good memory. That's why I'm glad people are writing down all my adventures for me. Have you ever taken an IQ test? Don't hold with them. Nothing about IQ tests in the good book. Ready, deputy? Hey, I quit this job. I'll need a backup, so I'm making you a special deputy. Sorry, I wish you luck, but I'm not putting on that badge. Maybe you're right. If you're not wearing a badge, no one will know you're my deputy. Then when the fight starts... I'm not your deputy. That's our story. Good. Marshal, there are two gangs coming. Already heard. Oh, okay. for the big shootout, 25 cents each. Uh, excuse me, but isn't this sort of in bad taste? I mean, making a big show of your marshal getting killed? They're not gonna kill him. He's gonna kill them. He's Pistol Pete. Yeah. Pete likes performing before a big crowd. He'll make you feel at home. Yeah. Programs, get your souvenir programs here. Still time to make a run for it, Pete. It's them who should be doing the running. Too much rouge. It's fine. Look. Look, your horse is outside. I'll show you how to sit on it and where the brakes are. I don't think I'll be needing that horse today. Tell the bad guys to all draw on me at the same time. That always looks great. Right. Good luck.
a message for you from Ben Thompson. What is it? He says he'll take care of Pistol Pete. He advises you and your boys to take your sorry asses back up in the hills where you belong. What? His words, not mine. I personally would never say any of that. Let's go. Candless said to tell you this is his fight, not yours. Except for you to stay out of Abilene. Oh, he did, did he? Called you and your boys a bunch of jerks, too. Jerks, huh? All right, boys, let's go! Thank you. I will have enough. Pistol Pete! Run! Halt! In the name of justice! McCandless, I arrest you for the crime of murder and for being an outlaw. Oh, nuts. Round them up, boys. What happened here? While you were back in town waiting for the show to start, as I, I can figure. My reputation must have gotten all these men so nervous, they went crazy and started trying to kill each other. I did it to the Hatfields and McCoys once, too. Hey, wait a minute! Wait a minute! And once again, Pistol Pete had saved the West. Somebody's touching me. Shut up! Well, now that you've finished cleaning up Abilene, maybe you should be heading back to New York. What do you think? No, not yet. The West is still a dangerous place. Now, that means I still have lots more work to do. Better be making my rounds. You know, the town really does need somebody like him. He's a fraud. Sure, but the people of Abilene don't know that. Neither do the outlaws. Even Pete doesn't know it. Maybe this could still work out. 
He'll be dead in a week. Not if he had somebody to help him. Deputy job is still open, you know. How about if we raise your salary to 50 a month? No, thanks. Okay, 75 and a free room at the hotel. And if the Giants ever move here, you can pitch. Come on, Longley. Somebody's got to protect the poor dumb SOB. Do the badge.